Today's obituaries are brought to you by Moss Service and Hansful Funeral Home. Funeral services for Delton Ray Waldrop, age 65, of Hansville, will be held tomorrow at 2 p.m. at Hansville Funeral Home Chapel. Clarence Price and Randall Waldrop officiate with interment in the New Mount Zion Cemetery in Crane Hill. The family will receive friends tonight from 5.30 until 9 p.m. Hansville Funeral Home is directing. Mr. Waldrop passed away on Monday at UAB Hospital. Funeral services for Gurley Richard Carden, age 84, of Hansville, will be at 2 p.m. today at Hansville Funeral Home Chapel. Paul Rivers officiating, interment in Bethlehem Cemetery, Hansville Funeral Home in charge. Mr. Carden passed away Monday at his residence. Visitation will be 1 to 2 p.m. at the funeral home. Funeral services for Mr. Calum Hector Lee, age 21, of Coleman, will be at 11 a.m. tomorrow at the Moss Service Funeral Home Chapel. Burial will follow in Coleman City Cemetery with Reverend Chris Wisner officiating. The family will receive friends at the funeral home tonight from 6 until 9 p.m. Moss Service is directing. And those are our obituaries for today, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansful Funeral Home. Bank presents Today on 2, broadcasting live on Charter Cable. We're on the internet, live broadcast also at channel2coleman.com. Or you can watch the program anytime you want to, courtesy of YouTube. A lot of people have been doing that this last few weeks with uh, the forums we've had on, and uh, that's why we do it, I guess. Yeah. Let people watch anytime they want to. Yeah. And you can follow us on Twitter and on Facebook and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Social media. Social media. Yes, that's right. Yes. We're, we're, we're there. Yes, we are. <laughs> How about the weather? Does it suit you? Oh, no, it's great. It's yeah, great. the weather's pretty good. Make the switch to Mitch. A weather brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. On the 21st of May in Coleman, Alabama, the average high temperature is 83. The average low is 63. The record high 96 in 1941. The record low 41 in 1954. Sunset today at 747, sunrise tomorrow morning at 541. There's the satellite picture and you can see what's going on around the country. Our part of the country looks pretty good. A lot of sunshine. Here's our forecast for today. More of the same, sunny and breezy. And breeze feels good when it gets up to 86. For tonight, clear, low of 64. More of the same tomorrow with a high of 88. 88 again on Friday. Slight chance of rain on Saturday, the holiday weekend, high of 85, Sunday 86, Memorial Day 87, 86 Tuesday. I think we're into summertime weather. Very good. Yeah, good holiday weekend coming up. Very good. I know you haven't been watching it, but I do want to talk about Dances with the Stars. Okay. Uh, their, their grand finale was, of course, last night, and... Uh, Oh goodness, the ice skating Olympus, gold Olympus that won, uh, she also won last night, which she did a great job. Mariah maybe, or, oh my goodness. I don't know. I know, I know. <laughs> well, the, the audience will know because, uh, she, like I say, she was a gold medalist in the recent Olympics. Her partner was the blonde-headed guy, and he also danced, but he got knocked off a few months ago, or a few weeks ago, whatever. But the second runner-up, or the, the runner-up, was, her name is Amy, don't know her last name. She actually had no feet. She had no feet, and she no danced. Feet, and no she feet, dances. and she danced. She Ooh. has prosthetics, okay? Yeah. Uh, she was phenomenal. She really was, and I think that if she had not been up against... Uh, this, the ice skater, she probably would have won the competition. She really, really was very good. And so I just wanted to mention that because it gives hope to people out there that are, you know, that are struggling with disabilities, with things. When she was 19, she had, uh, I don't know, I can't even remember what it was that she had, but she had to have her feet amputated oh, at the age goodness. of 19. Oh, wow. And she's a 
she's a, a snowboarder, uh -huh. and she competed in the Olympics as well as a snowboarder. No feet. Wow. Now, she has wow. the prosthetics, so, you yeah. know, but, yeah. and they're cut her, I don't know how, you know, like down her ankle or something, part weight calf down her calf that she's, uh -huh. anyway, she was phenomenal. Whoa. And I just wanted to mention that because I yeah. just was blown away with the way she performed and both of them were very, very good. And the girl that won really deserved it, but I think if she had not been her competition, she would have won. Oh. Oh. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. Can I do a grandson brag? Yes, you can. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> All right. My grandson is playing t-ball this year for the first time. The game last night, he had a home run. <gasps> yeah. Very good. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. You yes. said, though, that his dad has been working with him. Well, huh? I stand corrected. Oh, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> his mother has been oh, okay. practicing with him on batting. Oh, very good. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. very Summer good. has taken charge of yeah. coaching at home. Okay. Well, I thought Ryan was... <laughs> Ryan helps with the team. Okay. But... Uh, yeah, okay. Summer does the individual practices. Okay, so. <laughs> very good. Well, that's so exciting. And he's five now? How yeah, he'll be six this summer. Okay. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Such a great time, huh? Oh, much, yeah. As much as you love to watch sports, this is who knows where this kid's going to go. You just might be able to follow him to fame. We hope he becomes rich and famous and takes care of his grandfathers <laughs> that live here in Coleman. Yeah. <laughs> all of us. Doesn't forget all about that's you right. guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, do we have a slide for the political forum? We have a forum coming up on Friday. That's the last one we have left. We've invited the candidates for the state senate to appear on the program. And uh, like I say, that'll be coming up on Friday. Facebook friend, who's our friend for the day for today? Jennifer Neal is, and Jennifer likes the Coleman County Parks and Rec and Paula Dean. So very good. Maybe she likes to cook or watch cooking shows. But congratulations, Jennifer. And of course, thank you for being our friend. And we're going to reward you with that big, large barbecue sandwich from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. Just come by here first to pick up your certificate. I like Paula Dean recipes. Mm -hmm. I still like Paula mm -hmm. Dean. Okay. Yeah, she's I funny. I hate that everything happened to her the yeah. way it did. I, I just, I, I like her. Yeah. I just want to stand on the record, go on the record here. <laughs> I like her too. So. Okay, George Spear is back, and he's got a lot of things to tell you about. A new uh, superintendent for the county schools uh, appointed by the board last night, and other interesting stories. So we'll turn things over to George in just a little bit. At Premier Bank, we're a bit old-fashioned. We actually answer the telephone when you call. However, old fashioned doesn't mean we aren't up to date. With the latest technology, Premier Bank meets the various needs of our customers. Mobile smartphone banking, internet banking, ATMs, convenient offices. At Premier Bank, we have the right products right now with good old fashioned customer service. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. I believe it is an honor and a privilege to be the Sheriff of Coleman County, not a right. And as that honor and privilege, I believe it is the job of the Sheriff to serve the needs of the people. It is not the people's job to serve the needs of the Sheriff. I can make you this promise, I will lead the Sheriff's Office with honor, commitment, and integrity to every citizen of Coleman County. I would like to ask for each one of you your support and your vote on June 3rd in the 2014 primary election. Four years ago, I stood here and told you about our struggling economy, job market, and education system. We needed a change. 
Today I have good news. The economy is coming back, the job market is getting stronger by the day, and we're taking steps to ensure our education system is strong and secure for the future. Now it's time to build on those successes. I'm asking you to join me in continuing to move our communities forward. I'm Max Buttrell, and I'm asking for your vote. While Washington liberals like Obama and Pelosi continue to attack Alabama families and values, conservative leaders like Ed Henry are fighting back, championing pro-life legislation, standing strong against Obamacare, and keeping taxes low so we can create good jobs. Ed Henry, the conservative champion we need in Montgomery. Time for news and commentary on a Wednesday morning, hop day. Well, Coleman County Schools have a new superintendent this morning. Uh, he'll start work very soon. His name, of course, is uh, Dr. Craig Ross from the Robertsdale School System. He's a principal down there at Robertsdale High School. That's in Baldwin County. He uh, was informed last night, the Coleman Times got uh, an interview with him, called him, he said, uh, he, t he told the reporter, I came home from my interview here in Coleman and told my family that Coleman is where we need to be. And he was very complimentary. It wasn't an easy decision. It was a split vote. The front runner, uh, Vinemont High School, or rather Fairview High School it is. I was trying to remember which high school he, Vinemont, yeah. Uh, Brandon Payne had to drop out. A new state law, new state law prevents someone from being appointed a supervisor or controls a family member. So that's his, his uh, wife, Brandon's wife, of course, teaches at the elementary school there. So this new law forced Brandon to, uh, to drop out. And some of, the, uh, some of the board members are upset about it for, for good reason. I mean, think about it. Look at all the superintendents we've had who have wives or husbands or whatever. You know, Nancy Horton. Uh, had a family member teaching. She was a former superintendent. You know, Billy Coleman, you know, is the is the the current superintendent, uh, and he has uh, a wife, Shireen Coleman, who teaches out at West Point. So it's it caused a lot of consternation. And Randy Hassenbein, one of the board members, said basically he said, "Why did we pay the Alabama Association of School Boards eighty five hundred dollars to give us this list, knowing that this law was in effect?" So why was that wasn't fair to Brandon or to others, right? And that's a good question. I don't know if anyone's going to try to find the answer, though. Also, uh, looking at uh, the Coleman Times this morning, they've printed a list of uh, campaign funds that the candidates have, have for the state candidates, uh, as well as local, some of the local. And what's interesting is that, you know, it's almost, it's almost vulgar. It's garish at the very least at the number of things that we see in the mail like this. You know, you've got the Alabama Education Association using the name Alabama something else funding this. Now, the AEA has hardly ever endorsed a Republican candidate. Now, of course, they supported Jeremy Oden, but it's unusual that they would do this. They're trying to get rid of the incumbents. We had in our uh, forum yesterday morning, we had uh, Ed Henry and Melvin Hastings, a very good interview. And basically, Ed Henry uh, asked Melvin about these mail outs and about it, them being lies. You know, he said, Do you have, and it put Melvin in a tough uh, situation. He asked Melvin, Are you in control of your campaign? And Melvin said, Yes. Well, then why are these things being, the lies being put in the mailbox, basically, is what he asked. Well, he said, I have nothing to do with that. So Ed came back and said, well, well, you said you were in charge of your campaign. I, it To me, it's ridiculous. You know, AEA spent almost a million dollars last week, according to a report filed with the Secretary of State's office, with things like this, you know, and others. I've not seen yet uh, an ad by Ed Henry's campaign to uh, throw doubt against uh, Melvin Hastings. Apparently, $13,000 was given to Corey Harbison, who's running against uh, Mac Buttram. This is, again, the AA behind this. And I know the teachers, everyone knows a teacher. And as a result, uh, you got a situation that uh, you got a situation to where you say, well, what about this, you know? Uh, why don't we have pay raises and such? But the, the, the budget is such, the budget is such in, in Alabama, you're, you're, I don't believe we're in proration now. 
Now, sequestration, yeah, it's kind of one of those terms of what is that, you know? But they're having to take and do the most with the least amount of money is what it really all amounts to. And good, bad, or indifferent, that's the way that is. Also, uh, in local news, uh, I don't know, everyone's using Barack Obama as the is a whipping boy, basically, right? You know, there's, Ed Henry's got ads he uses using Barack Obama for his cause. His opposition is using ads using Obama against Ed Henry by stating that he voted for Obamacare. In reality, the reality of these ads is this. If you, if you care to know, if you care at all, if you're a voter, uh, the, all these ads have the same thing when they're telling you to vote against Ed Henry. The health, it says the House passed legislation that would establish a statewide health care exchange, according to the Alabama political reporter back in April. Well, they had to do something because Obamacare is coming, and in order to try to cut it off at, at, at the bend or not cost so much money, they set up these exchanges. It was a response to the threat of Obamacare that the le legislature did this. But see, they're depending on you as a voter to read this and take it as, as gospel. It's not that simple, and that's the main thing you have to remember. I don't know, uh, but I know one thing. And I heard a conversation yesterday between Ed Henry and uh, Melvin Hastings after the forum was over with. Basically, Ed Henry looked at Melvin and said, Ed, they were said, Melvin, if you win this election, don't let these people put you in their back pocket because they'll be there saying, you owe us, you owe us. And when you look at the million dollars in one week spent on campaigns, that's a pretty big debt, is it not? The White House says it's a spokesman for the White House, Obama advisor Dan Pfeiffer, says, well, the president's going to be picking up the pace when it comes to executive actions. I don't know if he's ever slowed down, has he? You know, executive action. That's where they'd say, well, here's what we're going to do, whether you like it or not. And I believe, by law, you've got a uh, situation to where the next president maybe can veto these things and switch it back around to the way it was. I don't know how willing they, some of these will be. You know, sometimes I think in Alabama politics, uh, or rather I should say Washington politics, that people are afraid if they don't start showing a little, being at least a little bit liberal, that people will, will uh, uh, go against them, that it will hurt them at the polls. What do you do, right? When it comes to getting behind the wheel, according to one insurance company, Safeco, which I've never really heard, I don't think, of Safeco, uh, is that 30 seconds? Okay, good. Uh, I've never heard of Safeco, but these people say that Americans are getting more aggressive than ever behind the wheels of their automobiles. And all you have to do, if you're on Highway 157, is listen to the sound of those rumble strips on the side of the road, the highway. And you'll hear them, the trucks, cars, when they'll get off because they're texting or on the phone or whatever. You know that it's true, and it's unfortunate. But too many diversions, I guess. Stay tuned. More of today on 2 after this. In the nation, we reward safe driving. Add vanishing deductible from nationwide insurance and get $100 off every year of safe driving, which means you could save a lot of Benjamins. We put members first because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation. Nationwide is on your side. One of the most frequently asked questions I receive out on the campaign trail is, why do you want to be the sheriff of Coleman County? Coleman County is my home. It's where I was born and raised, and it's where my wife Susie and I will raise our two boys. And there's nothing more important to me than my Lord and Savior, my family, and my home. And I would like to ask for your vote on June 3rd in the 2014 Republican primary election. Wallace State offers associate degree and certificate programs in Alabama's hottest job fields. Every year this decade, almost 3,800 new workers will enter these fields. Will you be one of them? Be one of us. Get in a Wallace state of mind. 
That's the projected number of job openings for trained welders this decade. That's the potential salary for welders trained the Wallace State Way with the latest robotic technology for manufacturing. Who will you be? Be one of us. Get in a Wallace state of mind. Four years ago, I stood here and told you about our struggling economy, job market, and education system. We needed a change. Today I have good news. The economy is coming back, the job market is getting stronger by the day, and we're taking steps to ensure our education system is strong and secure for the future. Now it's time to build on those successes. I'm asking you to join me in continuing to move our communities forward. I'm Max Buttrell, and I'm asking for your vote. While Washington liberals like Obama and Pelosi continue to attack Alabama families and values, conservative leaders like Ed Henry are fighting back, championing pro-life legislation, standing strong against Obamacare, and keeping taxes low so we can create good jobs. Ed Henry, the conservative champion we need in Montgomery. Welcome back to Today on 2. Time to give away some prizes, and we have a lot of prizes today. Yes. Some new ones, some old I'm ones. Looking. There we go. Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue has the family barbecue pack. We have a free round of golf at Chesley Oaks Golf Course. Very good. We have free admission to Hurricane Creek Park. We have a free, oh no, $10 off a haircut or wax at Hair by Loretta. 15% discount at It's My Party. I think that's it. Oh, and a pizza. Large three-topping pizza at Coleman Pizza Hut. Everybody better call Boy, in today. I hope we don't get a winner and then we can keep the prizes. How's that sound to you? I'll split that pizza with you. <laughs> okay. Let's look at our merchant ads. We'll ask you a question, a question about one of these ads, starting with It's My Party. Balloons of all shapes and sizes, singing telegrams from Lulu the Gorilla. It's my party on 2nd Avenue Southeast. And Cotton State Barns of Coleman. Buy or rent to own carports, playsets, utility trailers, storage buildings. No credit check, you're approved. Go see them on Highway 278 West, just past I-65. That's Cotton State Barns. Auto Tech Repair and Service. They do major engine repair, brake and transmission repair. And they'll repair any and all vehicles located on County Road 1354, Vinemont. There's Deb's Bookstore. She's Yay, on Deb. next. Yay! Your hometown bookstore just down the road. We always like it when Deb comes to visit because she always brings us such interesting books and I usually go in and buy them. <laughs> Jolly Time Rentals, where fun is always in the air. Call Holly Mullins to book yours today. Matter of fact, I think Holly's going to be our guest on our program tomorrow from Holly Time Rentals. Very good. And Grand Point Pharmacy open as early as 7.30 in the morning, Monday through Saturday. All of your allergy products are available here, located right there on Highway 31 North, just past 157. That's Grand Point Pharmacy. Alabama sunrooms and awnings. Sunrooms and screen rooms. If we do it, it's built right. Call for a free estimate, 256-739-6220. And the Candle Garden, hand-poured candles and over 50 luscious fragrances. They've got great gift items and gift baskets. Be sure to check them out at their new location right next to Moe's Barbecue. That's the Candle Garden. Mullins Body Shop, over 50 years they've been doing auto body repair and towing. You can count on them each and every day. Their number is 256-734-1353. Picking Under the Pavilion is taking place every Tuesday. And of course, that's going to be brought to you by the Coleman Park and Rec, and it will be at the Donnelly Green Center, uh, eight. Uh, what time? I don't know what time, but it ends at eight. Six thirty. Six thirty to eight. Rain mm -hmm. or shine, because they do have that pavilion. Brown and Company Beverages, where good taste begins, on Highway One Fifty Seven, right by the Ford Store. Huge variety, domestic, imported, regional, and local beer. And there we go with our um, some of the merchant ads. Right. Question for today: Which advertiser says visit Greg and the guys. Very good. Okay. 
and I tell you what all the prizes are, but I don't think I remember all I of them. I know I can't. Okay. You <laughs> no, got I a can't. pizza, we got a discount at It's My Party, a discount at uh, Hair by Loretta. Right. Chesley Oaks has Around the Golf, a free admission to Hurricane Creek Park, and maybe one or two other things. I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I think so. That's, okay, go oh, ahead and call and in. Family pack from Mad Dog Mike that's right. Barbecue. Man, Barbecue too. this is a okay. deal. We're going to watch Money Matters, brought to you by Premier Bank. Go ahead and call in. This is Allison from Premier Bank. I want to talk to you today about the importance of dealing with a local bank. With a local bank, you will always be dealing with local people and neighbors. A community bank will have offices in your area and loan decisions will be made locally. Come by and see us today. There we go with Money Matters, brought to you by Premier Bank. And our question for today, let's see, I think we have a caller ready to go. Question for today again, where can you find Greg and the guys? Hello, who's calling? Do we have a caller? Hello, who's calling? Uh, this is Gail. And from where are you calling? Uh, from Tarlin. Okay, where can you find Greg and the guys? Is it Tarlin? Yes, it is. Yay, Tires for Less. <laughs> Stay on the line, please. Thanks for calling in. Tires for Less. And uh, let's look at that ad and all of the other ads on our Know Your Merchant ads. Here we go with the rest of the ads. Hair by Loretta, where new customers get $5 off. Call and make an appointment today, 256-790-6681. Hair by Loretta in the Kalos Salon. Chesley Oaks Golf Course, 18-hole golf course, full practice facility, beautifully manicured bent greens. Bent grass greens. Okay, yep. four sets of tees to suit golfers of all abilities. It's open seven, it's open, I guess, seven days a week, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. That's Chesley Oaks Golf Course. Hitch Chance Christian Bookstore has the new engraving machine that engraves on wood and metal products. You can personalize gifts for weddings, anniversaries, graduation, and so forth. And Earl's Body Shop celebrating 50 years in business. Large and small towing available, local or long distance. A great body shop right there on Highway 31 North. Pizza Hut. Let's see. Today's Wednesday, 50 Cent Wing Day at Pizza Hut. Of course, they had the all-you-can-eat lunch buffet every day, too, Pizza Hut, 2nd Avenue North. And Be Fit is a new fitness facility in downtown Coleman, right next to Renard's Gallery. Located on 1st Avenue, it's just $50 a month, month-to-month, -month, no long-term contracts, and it includes a certified personal trainer. Mr. Hicks Menswear, where you'll find formal wear available for all occasions. Mr. Hicks Menswear on Compass Way, southwest Coleman. And Hansville Drugstore, a blast from the past. They have been open since 1925 and serving ice cream treats in the original soda fountain. Always old time friendly service. There's Tires for Less. More than just tires, see Greg and the guys at Tires for Less on Highway 31 North, where they do uh, oil changes, minor engine repair, replace shocks and brakes. And there's Mad Dog Mike's famous barbecue featuring that $13.99 family pack that includes a pound of meat, Two 16 outsides, four buns, located right there inside the Berlin Quick Stop on Highway 278. Blizzard of the Month, the Dairy Queen is Strawberry Shortcake. I think that's all my all-time favorite blizzard. Really? Strawberry Shortcake. You'll love it. I haven't tried it yet. I need to go. There we go with our merchant ads for today. We've been having political forums for the last several days. Today we have Deb Lashley. Yay! To tell us who to vote for or to <laughs> get the book that'll tell you. Yeah. Something like that. Deb's coming up next. I will rebuild the relationships with local city, county, and governmental agencies in which we all have the same mindset that we are working together for the betterment of our community in that one single direction for every citizen of Coleman County. My office will be held accountable from the top down. I will be held accountable first. And as your sheriff, I will lead the sheriff's office with conviction, pledging to return the office of sheriff back to the people. At Premier Bank, we are very proud of the long-lasting relationships we have with our customers. We'll go almost anywhere to meet your banking needs.
overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising, and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. While Washington liberals like Obama and Pelosi continue to attack Alabama families and values, conservative leaders like Ed Henry are fighting back, championing pro-life legislation, standing strong against Obamacare, and keeping taxes low so we can create good jobs. Ed Henry, the conservative champion we need in Montgomery. Meet the KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. It might just change the way you cook. Induction technology heats the pan and not the cooking surface to offer you a new level of precision, speed, and energy efficiency. Nine settings give you different levels of heat to achieve precise temperatures and amazing responsiveness. Water boils in just seconds, making this the fastest to boil induction cooktop available. The KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. Four years ago, I stood here and told you about our struggling economy, job market, and education system. We needed a change. Today, I have good news. The economy is coming back, the job market is getting stronger by the day, and we're taking steps to ensure our education system is strong and secure for the future. Now it's time to build on those successes. I'm asking you to join me in continuing to move our communities forward. I'm Max Buttrell, and I'm asking for your vote. Here's Deb! <laughs> <laughs> Deb Lassley from Deb's Bookstore is here. Dee's here too. She's the one that's, that's in charge. True. She's running that's, around. That is true. Definitely, definitely, <laughs> yeah. But, of course, brought, brought your wonderful books. I again. always have great books. And yeah. it's coming up on summer, so all the new summer reads are coming out. Okay. So if you want something to read. Now, you know, I don't want to put a downer on the whatever's going on in your life, but remember, the government will take away your books. Get them now. <laughs> Is that our next threat? Well, you know, I was, I was driving to, to the interview this morning, and um, I saw this crow being chased by this little flock of birds. And I thought, that's it. That's what we got to do. We got to just band together, and we just got to beat these big, bad government birds out of our nests. That's true. <laughs> just, hey, that's a Get good idea. Get them out of there. Let's Get them out of there. That. And, Let's do that, you know, Deb. Worst case, hit them with a car. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Okay, so we got... Uh, down by the barn. She took it away I from know. me. I know. So I want him to see it. Right. <laughs> I told you. There I it is. Hand. There it is. It's real cute. And it's got good. Can I? Can yes, I, you can, can open it. it. But don't move it. the book. Don't move the book. Okay. <laughs> I'll slap you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You can't spank your curled children, but you can hit your right. guests on TV. I guess. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yes. in this, isn't this adorable? Look at oh. this. This is such a great read for young people. Oh, wait. Parents will like it, too. So it's, I really, I, the kids' books are just always so special. Yeah. Um, there's lots the of good, there's lots of good kids' books out now for the summer. This spirit animals thing is taken off like crazy. Really? I never heard of it. Okay. Anyway, except until about a month ago when everybody started asking for it. Okay. It's a three book series right now. And it's, it's a, it's a book and it's a game and you can go online and you know, oh. anyway, it's about these four kids who um, have to save the earth. Oh, so okay. yeah, and they have these animals that help them, and so is this kind of like the uh, Hunger Games kind of thing? No, no, no. These are these are younger, smarter children. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway. Oh, that wasn't very nice. Wasn't <laughs> anyway, and then for the older kid in all of us. Okay. Okay, you ready for this? Okay. Dun dun da 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 da. <laughs> okay, okay. George Lucas uh -huh. stole the Star Wars plot. Seriously, Shakespeare wrote it. <gasps> really? <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! Okay. Verily, okay. a new hope. Okay, let me put that up. And 
the empire striketh back. Oh no. <laughs> it is this is absolutely hysterical. Oh, I love these no. books. The Return uh, of the Jedi comes out in July, but you got you've got to get these. They're written honest to goodness in iambic pentameter. They're so much fun to read. All right, English teachers, pay attention. Watch my lips or watch Jacqueline's or look at this book. <laughs> you want kids to read? This is great. It's readable. Oh. It's wonderful. I'm loving it. Here's the first one. Okay, we all know the opening. You know when the words scroll up the page? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is a period of civil war. The spaceships of the rebels striking swift from base unseen have gained a victory or the cruel galactic empire now adrift. Amidst the battle, rebel spies prevailed and stole the plans to a space station vast whose powerful beams will later be unveiled and crush a planet. Tis the Death Star blast. <laughs> okay, C-3PO uh, has, has lines and so does R2-D2. Beep, squeak. <laughs> <laughs> Chewbacca says, <laughs> It's, it's <laughs> wonderful. You got to come in and get this. You, oh, forget the kids. This you get. Just get it. Too much fun. I cannot keep these things in stock. Okay. Love them. Just okay. love them. Okay. okay. So, um, a perennial favorite is has gone out of print. Oh. My my one of my favorite books, The Bear Skinner, has gone out of print. I got the last two. Uh -oh. in my warehouse. After this, we're going to have to get them used. Okay. Um, and I suspect the price might, might shoot up. If you're not familiar with this book, I have to hold the book. Okay. Go if for If you're it. not familiar with this book, this is a retelling of the Brothers Grimm story, The Bear Skinner. Okay. Um, and it starts out like this. They say when a man gives up hope, the devil walks at his side. So begins this story. A soldier marched through a dark wood, and he did not march alone. Ooh. Okay, this won the go. Newbery Medal uh, in, when was it, 2008 for okay. Best Illustrated Children's Book. This is not a children's book. It just has illustrations. Okay. <laughs> uh, seriously, this will scare little kids. Okay. Um, yeah, but if you know that your Sunday school teacher is going to absolutely, positively, take off for a vacation sometime during the summer, and you have been saddled with the Sunday school lesson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. I got your book. So are you going to scare the little kids? No, oh, not okay. big people Sunday school. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You go to big people Sunday school, don't you? Yeah. Okay, all right, just check it. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> this is a marvelous book, and it's a marvelous book about hope, the battle for good and evil, um, and mostly about forgiveness and understanding. It's beautifully told, beautifully illustrated, and a marvelous tale would be superb discussion. Okay. And when you're done with that, not saying where my political leanings lie. <laughs> I do like Ben Carson. Dr. Ben's book came out yesterday, oh, and I've got goodness. several. Let's I read it last night, and it is very readable. Oh, good. Um, I don't agree with Dr. Ben on every single thing, mm -hmm. but let me tell you, 98%, I'm right with him. Mm -hmm. He is one smart guy who has very common sense answers to some very complex questions. Um, this is a book worth reading. Whether or not he runs, his um, views and his um, sticking it to them this mm -hmm. uh, by why are you making this so complicated mm -hmm. is I think going to change a lot of the dialogue in Washington DC I hope it does well, we can only hope yeah if you it know. doesn't you know we'll just go with Texas and secede right I read his story a long time ago yeah and because uh, he's been around you know and stuff mm -hmm. and he came from very very poor humble his, background. yeah if you haven't read gifted yeah. hands which is his story yeah. and his mama's story oh, wow. she was one tough cookie let she me really tell you I love her. Yeah. A I, single is she mom? still alive? I don't think so. Okay. I, I think wondered. she has passed. Yeah. But she raised two uh, two young men by herself. Mm -hmm. She was hardworking. She cleaned houses, or she was a maid, yeah. or something. She, yeah. And and she, couldn't read or write. Yeah. But and she, she would she would grade their papers. 
and she would insist Ooh. that they that they did yeah. their homework and so forth. And he was almost going down the bad path. Yes, he really was. And then she just straightened him out and said, "Look, buddy, this is not going to happen yeah. like this." And yeah. so I wish more parents had that intestinal fortitude. Yeah. And that's what we're lacking nowadays. Mm -hmm. It know? is. And he talks a lot about that in the book. A lot of this book is some rehashing of his other stuff, but mm -hmm. it does lay out his political views mm -hmm. um, on certain issues. One of them is racism. Uh, which he's not afraid to tackle, mm -hmm. which I love. Mm -hmm. um, and I pay attention, mm -hmm. pay attention, pay attention. Do your research. Yeah. Be like the little birds. Get your right. get your family, get your friends. Talk to your neighbors. Talk to everybody that you need to talk to, and bunch up and chase these bad birds out of our nests. Yeah, yeah. We really so, do. Anyway. Okay. Got just time for a couple. Couple more. Oh, if you okay. haven't read, this is the third book in the Richard Paul Evans series. If you haven't yet read the Walk series by Richard Paul Evans, okay. what a marvelous summer read you're in for. It'll take you all summer to read them. Well, no, it won't. Did, yeah, cause did they're, me. They're kind of small. <laughs> they are kind of small, but okay. they're quick reads. Okay. Um, there's five books in the series. The first one is called The Walk. Okay. Um, talk about hope. Talk about grace. Talk about humility. Talk about love. Uh, talk about learning to deal with adversity in very different ways from very different points of view. And learning to walk. And learning why you're walking. And the story is uh, a man's wife has died. Uh, while he is in the hospital caring for her, his partner steals his business. Mm. He falls behind on his mortgage payments. And he, at the funeral, uh, he, when he gets back from the funeral, he's got a foreclosure notice. Mm -hmm. So he puts on his backpack. He's got nothing. No kids, no family. And uh, so he starts walking hmm. from Seattle, Washington to Key West. People ask him why Key West. He says, well, I looked on the map and that was as far as I could go without getting my feet wet. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a great place. That's why I go. Yeah. <laughs> um, it is such a glorious adventure. Uh, that he is on that you take with him. I highly recommend it. They are not expensive books. I don't have any used ones because I just can't keep them in stock. Mm -hmm. But they're not expensive books. You'll want. This is the kind of book. Let me touch it. This okay. is the kind of book that when you read it, you go, oh, and you say, I want to give this to you. Can I bring your microphone? Oh, sorry. I want to give this to you. <laughs> this is the kind of book you mm -hmm. put in somebody's hands, mm -hmm. and you know that they will go. And they will give it to someone else. Oh, cool. This is the kind of book that gets tattered and torn. Okay. And there's five of them in the series. You, you really, sh you, you must read them in order. Okay. And you should. All right. Okay, so, I guess I'll be by today. All, ki all kinds of stuff. <laughs> all kinds of stuff. Okay. Great reads for everybody. All, most of them used in half price. Um, I'm just down the street. We have my own parking lot where you can get off that busy street. Yes. yes, um, yes. We're open <laughs> 9 to 6 Monday through Friday, 9 to 2 on Saturdays because I have to go home and do laundry. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you, Deb. I'm glad you wear clean clothes. I do. Good to know that. We'll be back with more right after this. There's stuff around your house, but we don't make stuff. We make ovens. Dual fuel double ovens. And they bake so evenly that now delicious is something you can depend on. We only make things for one room. The best room. Your kitchen. We're devoted to it. And you can feel it in everything we make. Nobody knows the kitchen like KitchenAid. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising, and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. We have to be more responsive to the needs of victims within our community. And we will do this by establishing a victim service unit within the Sheriff's Office, utilizing the personnel there. This unit will also assist the victims of assault, domestic violence cases, to the needed people that they can speak to that will help them not only get self-help, but through the prosecution of their case. And I would like to ask for your vote on June 3rd in the 2014 Republican primary election.
At Premier Bank, we take pride in serving our community. We respect our customers, and we've won awards for our ethical conduct. We're motivated to do all we can for you, and we're interested in your banking needs. We're efficient, safe, and sound, and our relationships with our customers are second to none. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. While Washington liberals like Obama and Pelosi continue to attack Alabama families and values, conservative leaders like Ed Henry are fighting back, championing pro-life legislation, standing strong against Obamacare, and keeping taxes low so we can create good jobs. Ed Henry, the conservative champion we need in Montgomery. Four years ago, I stood here and told you about our struggling economy, job market, and education system. We needed a change. Today I have good news. The economy is coming back, the job market is getting stronger by the day, and we're taking steps to ensure our education system is strong and secure for the future. Now it's time to build on those successes. I'm asking you to join me in continuing to move our communities forward. I'm Max Buttrell, and I'm asking for your vote. Now it's time for our Community Billboards, brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. The Dodge City Lions Club will hold a Boston butt and rib sale on Friday and Saturday, May the 23rd and the 24th, Memorial Day weekend. Sales begin at 8 a.m. on Friday uh, um, through Saturday until sold out. Boston butt's 30 and ribs are 25. Location is beside the SNS Foods in Dodge City. And Smith Lake Park Memorial Day Festival will be taking place on Saturday from 9 until 4. Free admission, arts and crafts, food vendors, golf cart and bike parade, prizes, swimming pool open, putt-putt golf, you name it, they've got it, live music, go and enjoy. And the VFW will host a Memorial Day program as well in Veterans Park at Sportsman's Lake on Saturday at 10 a.m. You can see the lineup for the program. And Garden City Church of God Food Bank will be open this Saturday, May the 24th from 8 until 11, serving surrounding area communities with God-centered prayer and food ministry. The church is located a half mile south of Wallace State, just off Highway 31. And if you have a community billboard you want to share with us, you can send it to channel2coleman at gmail.com. Give us a call 256-734-7399 or be a friend on Facebook, Channel 2 Coleman. And we'd like to wish Drew Forrest Ada, Abbott, and Gidget Terry, all a birthday. Happy birthday today. Their name will be put into the drawing on Friday where they have that possibility of winning an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. Weather forecast brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. Sunny and breezy today, a high of 86. Clear tonight, low of 64. More of the same tomorrow with a high of 88. Very special program for tomorrow. Jacob Mullins will co-host with me tomorrow. Okay. And... Possibly he'll bring Holly with him. Okay, okay. We'll see. Okay, uh -huh. all right. Maybe Jacob and Holly, otherwise just Jacob. Owners of Jolly Time Rental. Yes. Very good. And uh, let's see, we want to do a closing shot of Whitman. Just go Available at Deb's Bookstore. That's right. We didn't you, get a chance to talk about it. <laughs> when you get through reading, you can start Whitland. That's right. <laughs> That's our program for today, brought to you by Premier Bank. Hope you have a great day. Good girl, D Dog. Yes. You didn't get your 15 minutes this morning. I'm sorry. <laughs>